Hello and welcome to a new edition of Workaholics! Where one of our lucky Italian contestants can actually win a real, real dream, dream job. Job. Yeah, job! Right, and uh, huh, that looks, this is the scoreboard. Paulo Christie. Who wrote that? Who did that? Oh, Paula, you're so sweet. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that beautiful? Isn't that romantic? And isn't that boring? Can you take that off, please? I mean, you didn't even spell Naples right. You're from Napoli. Tell her how to spell Naples. Uh, in English or in Italian? Well, Naples is English, so... Naples? Um, yeah. Are you going to spell Naples in Italian? No. N-A-P-L-E-S. <laughs> Yes, Christine. exactly, exactly, exactly. Tell not her. to be confused with. Oh no, I better not. Anyway, say that. our okay. contestants are from Milan. Are you from Milan? Yes. Okay. From Milan, we have the genius Stefano. <laughs> then from Pavia, we have our favourite hairdresser Milva Totsi. Hello. Questa settimana un taglio una piega gratis è venuto dalla Milva. We should charge you for this. Free advertising every week. And then we have from Villa Literno, we have, what's your name again? Paulo. Paulo, Paulo Smitto. Paulo, Forza. Okay, baby. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, you've got something in your ear. No, the other one, the other one. Are you, are you wearing an earring? Yes, it's modern. It's fashionable. It has nothing to do with you. It looks all right. I don't get this. Why are you picking on me straight away? She looks like a car accident on four zebras. She looks like, well, God knows what she looks like. And you're picking on me because I've got an earring. Well done. No, well no, done. no, Let, no. Let's no. set the tone you, for the show. Well you, done. You got, you got the idea wrong. I just wanted to say how lovely it looks. <laughs> Pull over. Yeah. I was wondering, how come you became a pizzaiolo? Ah, that, well, that, that's, uh, mm, that's a long story. It was um, uh, just after I'd finished uh, at Cambridge University and... Um, you went to Cambridge, U Cambridge University? Uh, yeah, yeah, actually I did, yes. What were you studying? <clears throat> uh, uh, I studied cookery, cookery. Yeah. I didn't know that you could study cooking in, in there. The Cambridge? Yeah, actually, oh, yeah. I studied... No, you can't, in fact. I, I you can't study cooking in Cambridge. <laughs> Actually, I did study cooking really? with a very famous professor, oh. uh, chef, chef. Oh, yeah, very famous. Wasn't yes, he? yeah. yeah. Well, what was his name? Beppe. Well, his name was Beppe. Beppe. And Beppe used to. Beppe teach Worthington. You. Oh, I know him. Beppe Worthington. <laughs> Who doesn't? You know. <laughs> right. Okay. On with the show. This week, we are looking at something extremely important: problems at work. Now, this is very serious, so I want very serious answers. Yes. Remember that you can win a dream job, okay? So, will our contestants know the answers? Let's find out. Are you ready? Okay. Yes. Okay, first question. Hands on the buzzers. Buzz if you know, okay? Right. You have too much to do. In English, we say too much on your plate. C'è troppo sul piatto. You are very tired, you don't know what to do, you're stressed, you can't sleep, and your boss isn't very sympathetic. What do you say? Yes? Posso chiamare un amico? Ah, well, that's a 
different game show, uh, but, and it's not in the rules, but given you've never answered a question correctly, shall we do it? Shall we let him phone a friend? Yeah! Well, I bet. Like Stefano, have you got a friend? Have you really got a friend? Let's see. All right. Oh. Phone him. Hey, Pino! Ciao, zio. Ciao, si. Si, tutto You have 30 seconds. Si, eh, ascolta, si, 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 sono qua a fare... Boh, non sono mica capito ancora cosa sono qua a fare, vabbè. Uh, uh, no! No! Cosa hai mangiato? Oh, no, buonissimo! No, non ci credo! Eh, eh, scusate un attimo, scusate. No, veramente, ma ci vedo anche la settimana prossima. Milva? Yes. Give me the answer. You have too much on your plate. You're doing too much. Your boss doesn't seem to understand you. What are you going to say to your boss in order to resolve this problem? Okay. Well, of course, being a multitasking uh, woman... Uh, multitasking is tanti tastiere. Ah. Uh, I think she meant multitasking. Okay, I meant being a woman, I'm used to multitasking. This is true, this yeah. is true. You know that a woman can hold a baby, brush her teeth and clean the car all at the same time, whereas we can't. Continue, please and running a busy hairdressing saloon. Okay, and you, you know that the H is very important in English. So run, to run is gestire. So running a busy hair. Okay, running a busy hairdressing saloon. And don't- Saloon, sono la macchina con quattro posti. Um, io ho capito adesso perché you've just come from the disco, haven't you? Yeah. Uh, this is why <laughs> you're talking to the stranger. And you were probably no, there as well. A little bit drunk. <laughs> Thank God for makeup. Anyway, so a saloon is a hair, is a hair, see, is a, is a car with four places, right? Invece, a salon. A salon. And don't forget, ladies. No, 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 no. Yes, don't fight Franco bring così. Yeah, no, 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 no. You have to say, Mamma mia, anche io ero in discoteca con loro. <laughs> a hairdressing salon. A hairdressing salon. Bravo. Okay. And don't forget, ladies, if you bring a friend, you get a 25% discount. So, I was saying there are always million things to be done that need to be done. But of course, we are only human. So if you feel stressed because you're being asked too much, you should speak to your boss and explain your situation. That's... Yes, Paula? Uh, always, in my opinion, what you should do is present management with a solution, not a problem. So, if you need help because you've got too much to do, yeah, you go to your manager and you tell him that you need somebody to help you. And in that case, you can increase your productivity. <laughs> you can get much more done as a team. And then you won't feel quite so, how can I say, Isolated. Isolated. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, Christy? Tika Pisco. I know. I'm all Tika Pisco. No, I like it. I like it. I love this accent. You know, I think that you love the Neapolitan accent. I think that Americans, when they speak Italian, are really, really... I think it, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's like uh, music to my ears. Aww. Don't you Don't you agree? Good. Si. Anyway, don't. without further ado, Two wonderful answers, I would say. Ten points each. Okay, now it's time for what the what would you do round, right? So, cosa faresti in a certain uh, situation? Okay. Um, let's say, what would you do if your company is losing money? They are sucking or in American, firing, licenziare. They're firing people. Um, what would you do? Tell me. Strike. You would strike? Yep. Fari sciopero. Yes. Right, okay. Yep. So you are a member of a trade union then, are you, Paulo? So then, well, it's very difficult to organize a strike if you're not in a trade union. So wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Whatever. Milva? Well, I'd resign before they sack me. I wouldn't give them the satisfaction. <laughs> mm -hmm. Because this is what I think. 
Star spreading the news. No, 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 no. I'm leaving today. I'm gonna be a part of it. New York, New York. You know, you know what? Um, if you'd like to, uh, I'm sorry, I just found these somewhere. Um, first of all, if you want to sing New York, New York, learn the words. Maybe that's just advice, eh? I know the words. It's wonderful. I mean, this is supposed to be a serious show. Hang your head in shame. It's supposed to be a serious show about work. And what? What is it? It's, it's turned into a karaoke show. <coughs> Please try to be professional. Okay. If you can. Right, Paulo, would you like to attempt giving me the answer? <coughs> yes. Well, um, that's a tough one. Huh? Which uh, means difficult. Tough. Diff yeah, well, no. The company isn't performing well. The profits are down, and they're showing you the door. What can you do? What can you do? I don't know, Paulo. What uh, can you do? Well, that's what I'm asking. Uh, okay, well, here it is. I would go to senior management uh, with a set of proposals for how we could eliminate waste, create in incentives, and get everyone in the team pulling together. I mean, if people want to go, don't stop them. Uh, th those ones who want to remain will be shown, th they'll show that they're committed to what they're doing, even if it means taking a pay cut or working longer hours. I mean, in the long run, loyalty and commitment will be appreciated, but should also be rewarded with performance related, uh, on, a, on a performance related basis. A little bit of extra money. So, uh, you know, if the company is competitive, the jobs will be secure. That was absolutely fantastic. It's exactly what I have written down here. So, I know. another 10 points for Paulo Pizza Yolo yeah! Extraordinaire. Yeah! Another 10 points for him. So now we have Paulo in the lead with 20. We have Milva on 10 and Stefano. Well, whatever. Anyway, so the next round is about teamwork. Now, you both know how important teamwork is, right? Okay. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, welcome back. Um, I'm going to give you a chance, okay? Because uh, you're, you, it's quite humiliating that if you look at the scores, uh, Paolo, 20 and Milva is 10 and you are zero and uh, I'm going to give you a chance mm. okay you're working in a team someone is not pulling their weight what do you do um, can you repeat please <clears throat> someone in your team is not pulling their weight okay they're not doing their job and that means you're doing a lot more extra okay it really isn't difficult okay no, it's not. so <clears throat> Posso chiamare un amico? No! E allora non so cosa dirti. Polo, Polo. Yeah. Well, I, th I don't know, but I think I know what Milva would say. No, you don't. Yeah, I, I, I know, I, th I think what Milva would say. What would I say? Oh, you're helping Milva now. All right, go on, go on. Well, I, you know. They just make <laughs> up the rules. I, I got 20 points. Tell She's me, Paul, I'm listening. You just listen there, honey. Okay. I'll see you later. Paolo. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think Mill would say, uh, okay, let's get rid of her. Get rid of uh, who? Wait, to get rid of eliminare. Sorry. I don't get, know what you're saying. Not really. everybody knows that. Uh, get rid of who? And well, the what? person, the person who isn't pulling her weight. <laughs> <gasps> and just why exactly is that person a she? Uh, <coughs> what? Uh, I mean, it, 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 was, it was just an example, okay? It could it's be just... a man. Why do you think it has to be a woman? Okay, okay you're right, you're right, okay. okay. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I got distracted for one moment there. Whoa, 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 uh, stop uh, it there. Uh, stop it there. Now, this is what I mean about 
you know. Yeah. Paulo was horribly, horribly sexist, which is masculista, but I mean, that's not a surprise, is it? It's not a surprise. But you know, we have nearly, we, we, we haven't got much time. I don't want to stay on this question for half an hour, so if you'd just like to answer it, please, Paulo. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay, okay, what, what would happen is this, okay, uh, I think that the, well, you know, I'd go to the manager and I'd say, let's get rid of him. Him. Okay, show him the door. Oh. Give him his cards. <laughs> Sack him. Fire him. <laughs> you know, he's no help to anyone. Okay, no. get him out of here. <laughs> Disgusting. Him. No, I hate him. it. I absolutely hate it. Milva. Oh. It was the wrong answer anyway. It's nothing to do with him or her. Just give me the answer now, please. Okay, John. I've been in this position before and it's terrible. You know that someone in your team is dragging the whole team down, but you also know that if you blow the whistle, they could lose their job. So what I would do is I take that person to one side or maybe I will take them out for a coffee and something informal. All right, all right, all right. You know, and say that although I understand it's been difficult for them and that they are trying to n letting the team down, they are making life... What, what are they trying to what? They are trying to make to letting the team down. They are trying to make to letting... You mean they're trying not to let down the team? That's exactly what I let meant. Let down, delude them. Yes, yes. And so they're making life difficult for others, but whatever they do, we are all on the same side. Oh, how hey. sweet. <laughs> it was a good answer. It was a good answer. So that's another 10 points for Milva. Oh, <laughs> thank well you, thank you. <laughs> so at the end of the first part, we have Paulo on 20 points, Milva on 20 points, and, and that's it really, that, that's it. So, uh, we'll leave it there, we'll leave it there just for a minute, and we'll have a look at this message. We'll just have a look at this message. Ciao amici di Speak Now for Work da Andrea Sambucco e Christine Caruso. Quante volte vi è capitato che il vostro capo vi chieda certi favori per farvi assumere? E infatti prima di arrivare qua lui mi ha chiesto no, sì, di... ok. Oppure i vostri colleghi vi fanno mobbing, dispetti, siete semplicemente stanchi, stressati, tranquilli! Lincenziatevi! No, dovete acquistare i nostri prodotti No Stress at Work. Sigla! Sigla! No Stress at Work, una vasta scelta di prodotti per vivere sul posto di lavoro con meno stress. Ad esempio, quante volte avete fatto tardi la sera prima e non volete farvi beccare dal capo mentre dormite? Comprate i nostri occhiali Eyes Wide Open. Continuerete a dormire, ma sembrerà che siete svegli. Se indosso questi, chi mi noterà mai? Nessuno! Ma sono tanti i prodotti No Stress at Work. Ricevi troppe telefonate stressanti? Compra il nostro smorzatore di telefonate. Hai troppe pratiche arretrate da sbrigare? Acquista il nostro fantastico Risolvi Pratiche. E amiche donne, abbiamo pensato anche a voi. Se qualche collega ci prova troppo, comprate il nostro spray al peperoncino. O se non ci prova abbastanza, comprate un bel push up. Amici e amiche, acquistate adesso i nostri prodotti No Stress at Work e riceverete in omaggio un fantastico DVD, il thriller del momento, con Daniela Di Muro. Vediamo il trailer. Prossimamente al cinema, un uomo che amava il suo lavoro, ma qualcuno sul lavoro non lo amava. Fai schifo. Scemo! Non sei capace di lavorare! Scherzi di cattivo gusto lo mettevano in ridicolo. Era assunto da anni, ma qualcosa gli faceva capire che non puntavano su di lui. Lei ora è il nuovo capo ufficio. Sono la donna delle pulizie! 
Piccoli gesti quotidiani gli hanno fatto nascere il sospetto di non essere desiderato. Il suo contegno e la sua dignità rimasero incommiabili. Ma che ho fatto di male? <ride> Una persecuzione che continuava anche tra le mura domestiche. Ma smettila di giocare! Vai a buttare via la spazzatura! Ma cara, almeno a casa lasciami in pace! Fino al colpo di scena finale. Ma in modo che la verità non venga a casa. Ma la verità è che dobbiamo smettere di colpire. Basta. Mobbing 3D. Bene, stop alle telefonate! Stop! Quante telefonate già? Nessuna! Come nessuna? Sempre nessuna? Perché non telefonate mai? Perché i tuoi prodotti fanno schifo! Ho oh, capito, ma io ci metto la passione da anni! Allora, se comprate, mi voglio esagerare, mi voglio esagerare, se comprate i prodotti, il nostro asset work, in più, vi diamo a soli 100 euro una bambolina voodoo da usare contro i vostri colleghi! Un set di freccette con la foto del vostro capo! Riceverete in omaggio una spira stress! Una mountain bike senza cambio! Ancora? Ma che c'entra? Ma non lo so! Un set di pentole in acciaio battuto 18, 12, okay. 15, 18, fate quello che volete! Un, un, un materasso di mia nonna, ancora ancora dentro! Un milione di vecchie lire! Comprate adesso! Ma comprate però, dai! Magari sei stanco! Ma io non volevo farlo, sto lavoro! Eh, ho capito! Dai, facciamo la nana se sei no, stanco! No, cantami una canzone! Um, twinkle, twinkle... No, mi fa schifo, canta una di Tiziano Ferro! Stop, minchica, perché... Vada, vada, la, la... Welcome back. Now we're going to talk about something extremely delicate, okay? And I'm not talking about Stefano's brain. I'm talking about harassment and problems at work. Is your boss harassing you? Is he making inappropriate comments? Is he stressing you? Is he giving you a hard time? Well, talk to your boss, okay? Talk to him because he wants to listen to you. Unless he's sexually harassing you, then listen to us. As always, I'd like to present our wonderful contestants. We have from Milan, Stefano. Then we have from Pavia, Milva Concettina Tozzi. Hey, this week we are closed, so nothing will be left. You will miss your Milva. Yeah. Mm. And then we have from Villa Literno, provincia di Caserta, near Naples, in Campania, Paulo Smitso. Ah! <laughs> Allora! Allora! <laughs> Let's have a look at the scores. We have Paulo on 20 points, Milva on 20 points, and Stefano still to score. So, this week we're talking about harassment and stress, or moleste sessuale, o mobbing, if you like. Oppure... Sì, abbiamo capito, come on. Oh, calm down, calm down. Come on, but ci stai stressando too, a day so. Eh. In the beautifully written sketch, Man at Work, Sandra is very, very tired. What advice does our hero, Andrea, give to Sandra? Ah, uh, look at her. Poor, tired Sandra. So, what advice did he give? Paulo? Well, did he tell her to go to bed a little earlier with a good book? Well, I hope he didn't say that, because a good book would keep you awake. Right? Yours wouldn't. <laughs> Have you read his book? Mm -hmm. God, it's so boring. After two pages, that's it. God, it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> Really? What is it? Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> oh my god, has he got lots of nice lovely pictures? <laughs> no, it's Science of the Mind by Dostoevsky. 
It's a study into the psychological realm of a man stuck by socio-political goals in an uncertain political arena. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I read that. Uh, yeah. Phenomenal reading. Uh, Paulo? Uh, yeah, well, maybe uh, he, he told her to take her pyjamas to work with her. That's ridiculous. Why would you do that? Oh, man. But she can't go to the office and sleep naked, can she? I mean, that would be more interesting, of course, for the show, but... Uh... <laughs> I sleep naked. Who cares? Me! 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 I think I'll need some proof later. Oh, that's great, isn't it? That's wonderful. We're making a show about sexism, masculismo, di cui lui è personificato. We're making a show about sexism, right? And you make the most sexist comments ever. That... Well done. No, 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 no. That was not a sexist remark. That was not a sexist... That was simply me paying her a compliment. Oh, you're so sweet, Paolo. You're not offended by that? No. I love anything that you say, Napolitano. Okay, baby. So, what is your answer, Napolitano? Guayo. A good book. I already told you that that is the wrong answer, okay? John, look, I, I think I didn't mention this, but I'll mention it now. Going to bed with a good book and reading is the epitome of relaxation. It's like going to bed and sleeping. Well, in, it's wrong. Uh, in... It's wrong. It's wrong. It's the wrong answer anyway. He didn't say that, okay? I'm asking you. I'm not asking what Paulo Smitto thinks, all right? I'm, ask, I'm asking you very specifically what did our hero, Andrea, say to Sandra? What advice did he give? He didn't say anything about being naked. He didn't say anything about being in a good, in a good book or reading a good book, okay? Well, he should have said, go to bed with a good book. What? I'm not saying what he should have said. I'm asking you what he did say. Jesus. I blame the writing. Oh, right, that's it. Minus 20 points. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I, I know. I, I wasn't thinking. 30 points. No! Minus hey, 30 hold on. Points. Since when do you take points off? Since a minute ago. Referee. I want a referee. This is stupid. No, it is stupid, yeah. So can I, can I just have the answer? Milva? I protest. I'm, I'm with sorry. you! I protest! Long live the revolution! Ooh, wait, what are we protesting about? Him! <gasps> I'm in! Minus another ten points. <laughs> no, I want them on there. Right, he's now minus, what is that? A minus... Right, yeah, give me the chalk. Give me the chalk. Give me the chalk. I'll teach you, Napolitano. Okay, minus. Ah, oh, that felt good. <laughs> right. <sighs> Stefano. Milva, what did our hero Andrea tell Sandra? Huh? When he found her asleep, what did he say to her? He told her to take a break and to talk to her boss. Why? to ask her for less hours to have help from someone like an intern. And that is 10 points. Well done. Trufo. Trufo. This is a Trufo. Yes? Hello? Non sai come parlare in inglese al telefono? Non c'è problema! Alla fine di questo corso ti diamo il numero di telefono di John Peter Sloan che risponderà direttamente lui alle tue telefonate. Yes? Hello? Hello, John Peter Sloan speaking. How are you? Oh, ma non posso stare al telefono tutto il giorno con persone che non conosco, sorry. Ok, ok, la cambiamo, la cambiamo, la cambiamo. Yes? Hello? Non sai come parlare in inglese al telefono? Non c'è problema. Alla fine di questo corso ti regaliamo un audio cassetta con le risposte già pronte di John Peter Sloan. 
Yes. Hello. Hello. John Peter Sloan speaking. How are you? Ma dai, nessuno ha più le audio cassette adesso. Ok, ok, la cambiamo, la cambiamo. Yezelo? Ah! Non sai come parlare in inglese al telefono? Non c'è problema. Alla fine di questo corso ti regaliamo degli MP3 con la voce di John Peter Sloan. Yezelo? Sì. MP3 va bene, anche se la qualità audio non è il massimo. E sai, visto che io ho una bella voce. No, e basta, la cambiamo, la cambiamo! Yezelo! Non sai come parlare in inglese al telefono? Arrangiati! Il capo ufficio lo trattava male. Oi, testina! Lo sai che sei veramente un pala! Lo oberava di lavoro. Lavora! Pala! Lo costringeva ad orari disumani. Altri sei ore di straordinari! Pala! Ma da perseguitato trova la forza di reagire e diventa persecutore. Sette giorni morirai. Sono il tuo incubo più peggiore. Non avrai scampo. La sottile linea roca. Tu non sai chi sono io. Certo che lo so. Sei quel perla che lavora per me. Come hai fatto a scoprirmi? La FOWO Production presenta la storia di un uomo che decide di farsi giustizia da sé. Sì, la storia di un Perla! Tratto da una storia vera. Hi! Prima di una conferenza, quando la ritosi ti assale, Fresher Now for Walk. Hi! So, in the award-winning sketch, A New Dawn, Dawn's boss is a little bit, how can I put this? Amorous. A bit, um, a bit too amorous. But what were the first signs? What were the first signs that really worried Dawn? Stefano! The, the, the International Committee of Sketches. Milva. He started to pay compliments about her hair, which for my client is normal. Yeah, it happens to me all the time. I know, you're beautiful. E comunque, se venite nel mio negozio, questa settimana vi faccio uno sconto del 25% sui colpi di sole sulle extensions, se portate la vostra mamma. Oh, 25% vengo anch'io? Yes, ti aspetto! Continue! Ok, in fact, I think she came to our shop, che è in via delle rondine numero 4 a Pavia, e se venite vi faccio oltre all'estension anche una ricostruzione delle unghie, una roba esagerata con il gloss. Milva! You started well. Now I need more information. Hai ragione. Facciamo anche gli uomini in sabato, oh, tutto quello cioè, che volete. Perché non vai? Sì. I'd rather read the question again. Maybe. What do you think? So, what were the first signs that worried Dawn? Ah, see, okay. He started to brush up against her. Mm hmm He started to brush up against her. No, I'm sorry, you're wrong. You see, you were so worried about advertising your shop that you got it wrong. The first sign was that he started to put his arms around her. What's the difference? Come here. Come on. Okay. Come on. Come here. Come here. I'll Excuse show me. you the difference. Permesso. Scusate. Okay. If you'd like to stand here, I'll show you. There, there, there. Just a little bit. bit. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. Now, if I brush up against you, I do this. You know, like a cat. 
people, right? When you go to your friend's house and they've got a cat, what does the cat do? He, he brushes like this, right? Just like that. This is to brush up against you, okay? If I touch you, now this is touching you, okay? If I touch you too much, I'm touching you like this. This is now I'm touching you too much. If I touch and brush, now that is, you don't do that. You can't go in an office and say, hi, and I brush, and I touch, and I brush, okay? And if I smell your hair, if I smell your hair, I do this, and I smell, and Hold I on. brush. Hold on, just a minute, just a minute, John. I mean, uh, what's the, why did you choose a woman for this uh, feely game of yours? What? What, 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 what? I mean, wouldn't it have been more ethical to have chosen a man to do this touchy-feely game that you're doing here? Eh? I don't want to smell your hair. Well, no, OK. You have done it with Stefano. I don't uh, want to smell fact, his hair. So wouldn't it have been a little bit strange taking another man and brushing and feeling and touching? I'm just showing her. I'm just showing the difference, OK? She didn't know the difference between touching and, and brushing and smelling. OK, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you what. You know what you should do? Take him to court. Fallo, tribunale. Fagli causa. 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 <laughs> but I am winning. Yeah, she's winning, you idiot. Oh. Another ten points off Paulo, OK? Oh, thanks Do you know very what? Much. Do you know what? Oh, that's... No, 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 wait a minute. Nobody, nobody here, right, thought bad. Nobody saw anything dirty in my simple demonstration. Only you. Yeah. That is, isn't that a coincidence, right? Mr. Masculista Sexist of the universe. Only you saw something dirty. And why is that? Why? Because it's your mind. Now, can we move on, please? Wait. He's right. It was yeah, I'm right. No, no I'm he's right. right. Oh, he's right. He's right. Yeah. It minus, was... minus ten. No, 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 no. It was just an excuse, you maniac. That's what I would have thought. Sit down. No. What? No. Another ten points up. No, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, the okay. The okay. The I don't have it. Where's the chalk? Herver. You hit the chalk, you cheat. Oh, you I want, right, find the chalk. I want minus. No, no, just give me that. Give me that. Minus 30. No. Are you happy now? No. Are you happy now? I'm not you're happy. A you're a pervert. That's what you're. Pervert. 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 You know that this started as a very serious show, you know, to try to help people with really important points about work. And what have we been reduced to? What, are, what are, have we been reduced to? I started with a really important question about the most delicate subject, and you're all calling me a pervert. That's, that's how, you know, that's, that's real, real progress. Well done. Now, the last question. Thank God, right. In the triple award-winning sketch, Madame Chantier, played by the beautiful, voluptuous, can I say that without anybody thinking, you know? Pervert. Right, give me that. No! Okay. There you go. You're great. You, you, yeah. You're no, very, no, no, very, no, no, very no, handsome. No, 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 no. Don't be a creep. A creep is Rufiana. All right, okay. In the triple award-winning sketch, Madame Chantier, what advice did psychic Jake Sorry, psychic Madame Chantessy, give about his amorous boss, right? His female boss was coming on to him. What advice did she give? Milva. I'm sorry about before. I don't care. Paulo, the answer, please. Well, she told him to go to work earlier and invite colleagues along to the meeting so that they wouldn't be alone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you listening to my answers? Uh, no, I just... Uh, go on, uh, what was it? It was probably wrong anyway, come on. She told him, she invited him to go along to the meetings earlier and to go along with some other colleagues, yeah? So that they wouldn't be alone. And all those things happened, you know, those... Just to make sure that everything was above board, you know. Okay. All right, that's ten points. Yeah. You know what, you guys are joking about this, but I had a sexual harassment case, okay? And it was very serious. I'm not joking about it. I, and I'm John, really you know what? The, you know, it, there was a lot of dirty words and, and touching and feeling. And, and there was...
looking through a keyhole in the bathroom, okay? Oh and I've been talking God. about this for six months now in front of a jury, and you're making jokes about it, John? I'm not making jokes. First of all, I'm not. And, and I'm, I'm genuinely sorry if that, if that happened to you. Yeah. I mean, looking through the keyhole when I someone's know. in the toilet. Okay, so yeah, I'm but you see, serious. But this is really, this is serious. And I am being serious. He was joking about it. I'm not joking about it. But anyway, are joking. you okay now? Is it finished? Are you... Yeah, you know, I, I, um, I paid the fine and uh, I moved on with life, okay? Well, I'm sorry anyway if we were insensitive. I don't think I was insensitive. Okay, so at the end of that round, uh, we have... What do you mean you paid the fine? Well, I admitted that I did something wrong and I paid the fine. Okay, I looked at him through a keyhole, John. What do you want from me? He was Napolitano a più forte di me. Uh, so Come you, te, Paolo. But you, so all these dirty words and touching and feeling was you... You can... Uh, it was you that was doing that. So. You can come spy through my keyhole whenever you want. <laughs> okay, uh, I've had enough of this. So at the end of that round, actually, I'm, going, I'm, I'm actually going to enjoy this part. We have Paulo on minus 20. No, I don't know. Um, Milva on minus 50. And the winner of this week's show on zero points, Stefano! Oh! Why? Sit down. Was he an all black? I don't know. I think it's time for uh, this message. Da quando uso Fresh Air Now for Work, la litosi non è più un problema. Hi! Come potete vedere dal grafico. Quando la scellosi ti assale, Ashel Fresh Now for Walk. Da oggi anche in versione gigante da spennellare. Ci lo faccio, però mi fa schifo. Eh. Benvenuti amici di Easy to Cook, come vedete oggi ci troviamo in Brasile e vi insegnerò a preparare una semplice e veloce specialità brasiliana per tutti quelli che lavorano e non hanno troppo tempo per cucinare. Segnatevi gli ingredienti, allora vi serve beh, un tavolo da cucina per, per cucinare, poi eh, un piatto con una banana, la prendete, poi togliete ecco, delicatamente eh, l'involucro del supermercato, così li fanno gialli adesso, che matti. E la vostra banana è pronta. Easy to cook. Alla prossima. Buono. Da quando uso Fresh Air Now for Work e Shell Fresh Now for Work, la litosi e la scellosi non sono più un problema. Cosa c'è adesso? Mamma Cosa ho fatto? Cos'è? Quando cammini distratto e pesti i ricordini dei cani, Clean Your Shows Fresh Now for Walk, dagli stessi creatori di Fresher Now for Walk e Ashel Fresh Now for Walk. Però adesso basta, eh? Per piacere. Who in God's name writes this? So, that's the end of the second, the second edition of Workholics. Paulo won the first one. Stefano, great progress, won this edition. Who will win the next edition of Workholics, where our Italian contestants have the chance to win a, a real, real dream, dream job? Job! job. Yes. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye. Workaholic!